Oh, I lost an arm. Okay. Oh, lost two arms. What you gonna do now? Bleed on me? Hey, what's going on, guys and gals? Pauly Jr. here. And welcome back to Seven Days to Die with yours truly, Pauly in a Punchwood, the new sheriff in town. Hey, Pauly, come on over here. It's okay. We're all friends here. Put the gun down. Put it down. Put, we're all friends. Put it down. No. 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 How do you... How do you drop weapons? How do you holster? I don't know. All right, tell you what. How about... Uh, yeah, there we go. Peace offering. <laughs> Have some yucca. No, not you. Give it to us over here. Anyway. So, yeah. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We're picking up where we left off here. After the end of the last episode, we're down in the bunker that we found. A hidden underground bunker. It's got power. We got a refrigerator, stove, bathrooms, bunk beds. Uh, we even have air circulation. Yeah, really, really nice. I think we should stay here. So I think Pauline is going to move in and stay for a little while. I mean, the seventh day horde is coming soon. It's already day five. So there's really no sense in being uh, out running around trying to find another location. I don't think we're going to find anything quite as awesome as this one out there within the next couple of days, so I think we should stay here. There's, there's some things we can do. We've got a few buildings here we can rummage through. These houses right here. We've got some kind of wreck down that way. And then a massive structure down there by a lake. Some kind of a casino that might be under construction or something. I don't know, but there's, there's even more parts of the town down there out here in the, uh, in the desert. See it down there? Pretty awesome. Um, but that's not a priority. The priority today is to make a forge so we can make some metal weaponry and stuff like that to get prepared for this, uh, this horde. I don't really remember the seven day hordes. I know they're pretty, they can be pretty nasty. I'm not sure about this, the first one you get. It might not be so bad, but I think we need to prepare, prepare and have like metal, maybe a metal club. I think we can actually make a metal club. So I'm gonna put that down in the comments and keep those, uh, keep the comments coming. All the tips are very, very helpful. So yeah, we can, we can actually make a iron reinforced club right now. The barb club is something we'd like to make too and a spite club, but we need a recipe for that. And we need forged iron. So we have to make a forge and hopefully we can get a forge up and running today or at least before day seven and get some new weaponry. And I think we can make a blunderbuss too, which is like a, a shotgun, right? With a forge. So that will be on the docket today. Oh, look at that iron shovel. Fantastic, we can drop our, our stone shovel then. And that's gonna come in handy today because we need we need clay, and I think we can dig clay up, like, right here. That's that splotch right here on the map. These brown splotches, I think. So, is that, like, literally... Oh, we're on it. This is clay right here, I think. Hold on, let's find out. Only in a dig right here. See what we got. Is that clay? Small stone. Oh, yeah, lumps of clay! It's a lump of clay. And then we take the lump of clay, and I think we can turn that into, um... I don't know, stuff in the forge. <laughs> I know we need at least 50 clay just to make the forge, so this is perfect. All right. Man, we, we lucked out here, Paulina, huh? Look at her dig. Dig like a gopher. Nice job. Although, the first rule of uh, Seven Days to Die is never dig directly under your feet. Oh, no, that's Minecraft. Same thing. I don't think there's going to be, like, a big drop-off, though. Unlike in Minecraft, there might be a cave underneath your feet, right? But not so much in seven days to die. Anyway, let's see what we got. 150. This uh, this shovel's fantastic. What a great find. I want like maybe 200. You think that's good? I know there's gonna be a lot of recipes that use clay. Oh, one more. Two more. There we go. 200 clay ought to do it. I'm thinking. And look at her stamina. It's down, down, down now. Anyway. So that was perfect. How about we drink some of this yucca aid? Cool off a little bit. Turn some of that stanima. And we will loot these houses right here. Let's grab a little more yucca. Now I'd like to get my I'd like to level up. Get Paulina up to the next level. And then spend some of our skill points on weaponsmithing and tool smithing. I guess we can do one right now. How about we do... Well, let's do the weaponsmithing. And we're going to make this new... Um, yeah, let's make a new club. I want to make that metal club. That seems pretty cool. Iron reinforced. Yeah, let's crank that up. 
So apparently that's the only way to get your, uh, your to get better tools. So at least that's what I'm reading now in the comments that what I have been doing is making new tools to level up that the quality thing. But that's not how you do it anymore. Oh look at that. See that? We got a hundred. That's a hundred quality. That's pretty darn good. So that's how you do it. You have to do it through perks and skills now by purchasing them here. Let's go check out this old burnt up house. Oh, it's unlocked too. Oh boy, hold on. Let's get a torch out where my torch is at. Just in case. There's some sleepies in here. Maybe we can sneak up on them and shoot them. Oh, look at the basement. It's full of water. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, careful. Watch your step here, Pauline. You don't want to fall down there. We have no idea what's down there. And we don't want to find out by falling on top of it. <laughs> Cobwebs in here. Yeah, this is a... Uh, this house is a disaster. Anybody in the bathroom? No. Let's check the toilet. Oh, somebody left something behind. Uh, can we take these? Yeah, we get... Plastic? Oh, we get plastic out of that. What do we do with plastics? Can make some weird stuff. I don't think we're going to need any of that right now. Let's just drop it. What we need is leather to make bellows. We need to make a bellows to make the, um, the forge. I've got everything else now except for the uh, the bellows. And that means we need leather. And I think we can get leather from leather furniture and some, like, richly appointed homes. And some other structures. Like, I don't know, like maybe a bank or something, right? They might have... It might have leather furniture, so hopefully we get lucky in one of these houses. And then we can make our bellows. Uh, well, we might as well search this place while we're here. Oh, wrench! That's fantastic find! I think we need that for, like, getting parts for a minibike. We can make a minibike now, but we have to, um... We gotta find certain car parts, I think? Maybe, like, gasoline? And whatever else, I don't know. I haven't looked into that recipe yet, but we can use that wrench to get certain parts and materials from cars. Are you hot, Paulina? That's why we took your clothes off, girl. There we go. So some clothing actually will cool you down, right? Yeah. See, they draw heat away from your body like this one. Insulation minus 10. That's why she has that on. The uh, plant fiber cowgirl hat actually drawing the heat away from her. Oh, here we go. Got a loot crate. Let's jig it out. It's a trash compactor. Wood and a jar. Oh, that goes down. Fast. Oh, we got a little sweepy here. Let's get it. Oh, I can't shoot. Why can't I not shoot? There we go. Sneak damage. Pretty good, right? Not bad. All right, I think we're alone now. Let's see if we can find some leather. I don't think you can get leather from these beds. You just get... Yeah, regular fabric. I'm not going to waste any time on that. Hold it up. Let's see if there's anybody in here. Looks clear. Another bed. Not richly appointed. Alright, I think we are not going to find leather in this place. Let's get out of here. What time is it, by the way? It's only 9.51. We got all day. I did not change the time, by the way, yet. I said I was going to change it to 40-minute days rather than 60. So that we have uh, we have more well fewer hours during the day and we get some more nighttime hours that we can play around with. But I'm I'm holding off until after the seventh day. I just think that makes sense. Let's get past the seventh day horde and then we will do that. Change to 40 days and get some nighttime action. Check out this basement. It's flooded, which is really creepy because you don't know what's in the water. Oh, we're going down. We're going down. Oh, wow, is it deep. <laughs> it's over Paulina's head. You okay, Paulina? Oh, she can swim. She looks like she can swim pretty well. All right, let's get back down <laughs> and see what we got. Make sure there's no zombies down here. Can zombies swim in this game? I don't know, but you see a lot of, like, flooded rooms and stuff in The Walking Dead. And it's always pretty freaky. When zombies are in the water and you can't see them. Got a lot of rubbish down here. Oh, nails and glue. Oh, I think glue is useful for something. Oh, what's the matter, Paulita? You okay? It's just water. It's very deep water. Where are you going? Where are you going backwards? <laughs> I cannot breathe. Ooh. Oh, she's squealing. She doesn't like this. Yeah, I'm not crazy about it either, to be honest. 
It's okay. So you got plenty of breathing space right here. No problem. Get a big breath and let's go down here. Oh, good. It's unlocked. <gasps> I see a safe. Another safe that would take four hours to bust through. It is locked. All right, grab some oxygen. Oh, no. There's no headroom here. Now, I'm not going to bother with that safe now. It just takes way too long to get through them. You're wasted time. Okay, Paulina, come on. We can go now. There you go. She does not like that, does she? Whoa, almost fell in that hole. Okay, let's... Uh, these do not look like richly appointed homes, do they? <laughs> not really. So, how about that one over there? That's a mess, too. Well, I think we'll have better luck finding leather down there by the casino. Like I said, there might be a commercial building with leather furniture that we can break down. Um, or we might be able to find an animal to hunt, right? I mean, don't animals drop hides? And then the hides can be converted into leather. As far as I know, that's possible. So, yeah, why don't we do that? Oh, gosh, that guy hurt us. However, before we go, I want to try my wrench on this car right here and see what we get from it. Because I want to make a mini bike. This would be a great way to get around. Um, oh, it requires clay. That's interesting. Handlebars. We need headlights, electrical parts, short iron pipe. And lastly, a mini bike seat. There's leather. No. <laughs> Hard enough to find it. And cotton. Really? Is that for cushioning or something? What the heck are we going to get cotton? No idea. Um, in the desert, anyway. I don't know. I know there are cotton plants. All right. Well, let's get rid of these two fools. And then we'll start wrenching this car. I'm curious to see what we get. Oh, no. Don't get up, lady. Uh, yeah. Down she goes. What you got? Paper. Which we need to make blunderbuss ammo. And we want to get that blunderbuss made up for day seven, night seven. But let's rip this thing apart and see what we got. We got metal, scrap metal. I can get that with an axe. We got... Oh, wait a second. Is that leather? Leather! What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> this car has leather seats. I didn't know that. Well, there you go. That solves all the problems, doesn't it? You get leather from cars with a wrench. Well, that's epic. Now, how about the... With the axe. Yeah, see, we get metal with the axe, but I'm not sure we get anything else. But what about the other parts? Oh! Well, that was just one door. There's gasoline, oil, and a spring. Okay. Not a lot of leather in this vehicle, though. I'm not getting, like, a headlight or electrical part. Oh, there's a headlight! We got a headlight! Okay. Stuff flying all over the place. Oh, no. Takes a lot out of a gal. Alright, how about a drink? Nice, cool... Oh, not thirsty? Ay, ay, ay. Alright, well, let's wait for that stamina to come back. And in the meantime, how much leather? We only got two leather? Okay, we're gonna have to go wreck another car to get to the seats. How much leather do we need for a, for a bellows? We need 20 leather! Oh my gosh, okay. Well, that's a lot of cars. I'm going to head back to the bunker and drop this stuff off. And then um, maybe we'll head down to the casino and see if there's any leather down there. Although we could just go to this house right here, right? That cabin. Pretty sure there was a forge there. We could just do our forging there. I don't think we can pick up the forge and move it. Not that we'd want to put the forge here in the house. I know that much. Because zombies can detect the forge when it's running, right? All right, guys, we're back outside, and we're heading to the casino, which is way the heck down there. And I decided to go through the desert to look for animals to potentially hunt, get their, their leather, their uh, hides, but no such luck. What is this guy? Holy smokes, he's a monster. He's a miner of some kind? Ooh, maybe we get a mining helmet from him. Oh, gosh, I missed... Trying to get that headshot. Do headshots even matter in this game? I think so. <laughs> I think that answers that question. Mini bike handlebars. Oh, he's a biker. That's what he is. Not a miner. He's a biker. Got mini bike handlebars. That makes things easy for us, doesn't it? 
So we don't have to make the handlebars anyway. And it had mini bike wheels. Holy cow. Well, wheels? Are the wheels even part of it? Not here. Maybe to put the whole thing together, we need wheels. But Well, now we got them. Let's go check this house out. Oh, you know what? Oh, guys. I think this is one of these uh, wealthy homes. Like a mansion. This could have leather seats and chairs and stuff, right? I don't know. We'll find out. We're going to go in and check it out. We may not even have to go down to the casino. Maybe the guy that lives here owns a casino. And he's living way out here up in the desert. Ooh, sports bag. Flashlight! All right. We got some good stuff, finally. I would like to get more... Um, more schematics, though. I'm pretty sure we can make a blunderbuss without a schematic. Yeah. But we still have to make that forged iron. What is that? Uh, that's, is that a dog? Thought I saw something low and moving quickly. Oh, it's a bunny wabbit! Let's go get him! Low and moving quickly. <laughs> the bunny will have some hides on him, right? Where'd he go? Disappeared into the grass. Ooh, athletics. Oh, there he is. It's not a killer bunny, is he? Does he have huge, sharp teeth and a mean streak a mile wide? No, just a regular bunny. Good. Hey, get back here! Where is he? Here, buddy, 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 bunny. We're not gonna hurt you. He's, he's completely gone. He's like Houdini. He just disappeared. I don't see him anymore. You guys see him? Let's go to the house and see if there's any leather furniture in the house. Yeah, this is a really nice house. I remember this style of house when I played back in the olden days. But I don't remember the furniture type. Paint. You know, no, no. Why did I take that? Only to drop it. Drop it. I just don't want to carry all that garbage right now. I don't think it's going to help us. All right, door's locked. Let's see if anybody inside. Hello? Rich people? Anybody home? Oh, there's a guy right there. I, oh, no, no, no. No gun, Pauline. No gun. Too loud. Those two dudes. There's one lying on the ground. On that nice, cozy carpet. And... Dead? Oh, we got him. And then this guy over here behind the cow. Oh, is that leather? <gasps> I think that could be leather. I think that could be leather. It's definitely a nice couch. It's not like the other couches that you find in the other homes. Which are horribly ugly fabric. And I've actually had one just like it. But this looks different. Oh, it's leather! It is leather! Holy cow, do we luck out here? Yep. And there's a lot of it. Hold on a sec. I hear something. Is that that bunny? He's coming back to troll us, isn't he? Here, let's block this off. So nothing sneaks in. Could be more zombies in here. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just so excited about this leather. Let's grab it all. A little bit of wood out there, too. Yeah, now we're talking... Eight leather, we need 20 total, right? We got a couple back at base. I did drop some off in the base. And that gives us a total of 14. I think we have 16 total. Let's check this nightstand. Oh, nice boots. Cowboy boots! Oh, Paulina! What luck! Let's put them on. Stop swinging, put them on! Oh, insulation's only plus one. That's worth wearing it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Turn around. Let's see. Yep. All right. Now she's the sheriff. Definitely. Pretty soon she'll be full cowgirl mode. <sighs> like that idea, huh? Oh, gosh. That's a horde. I hear a horde. They're coming right through the house. They're coming right through the house. That's a herd, whatever you call it. Don't want to get stuck in there. It sounded like a lot of feats, didn't it? A whole lot of feats. Am I just being paranoid? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just one. Oh no. That's a mini herd. They're going right through the house, the turkeys. How many are there? I'm debating taking them out. They don't destroy this house. I kind of like this house. It's a nice solid brick. 
Oh man, they are gonna ruin this place. But here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna run in and grab the rest of this furniture if I can real quick. You just have to get enough leather for this job. Oh, grab the arms. Hurry up, hurry up. How about in here? Anybody in here? Nice wooden desk. Another cowboy hat. Awesome. No. Oh gosh. They are really doing a number on this house, and that's a shame. Oh! <laughs> Look at them all! Maybe I can just take them out from here. Yeah, let's just do this. I want this house. Oh my gosh! Wreck it up that floor. That's a nice tile floor, you jerk. Oh. Oh boy. Do you know how much that cost? Oh, how did I miss? Alright, we're backing out. Backing out. It's a good thing they're slow. Because I can't hit the broad side of a barn with this thing. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Fall back. Alright, that's a neck shot or something. <laughs> Make sure you don't back into anything. Oh yeah, level eight. That's what I wanted. So we can upgrade our tool skill. I think they're done for. All right, that wasn't too bad. That was a little tiny little herd. Probably should have just taken them out when I had the chance. Now they put a hole in this nice house. Scavenging up to level nine. Good things are happening here. Good things are happening. All right, now we can go back into the kitchen. We do need food, so that's why I wanted to do this real quick. Block that off. I know it's not quite as nice as it was before with that lovely marble tile floor. <laughs> but look at this cherry wood floor. That's nice, isn't it? I think we need to eat. Oh no! I just scrapped the sham. I wanted to eat that. Hit the wrong button. Drat. Well, now we need some food. Oh! Oh! Electrical parts. We might be able to make a mini bike after all. We're getting pretty close. Oh, look at this fridge. It's got a top and a bottom. Man, spared no expense, these people. That's a nice unit. Here, let's open up this whole house. I want to see if there's any more of that leather furniture. Nice bed. No, they don't have a leather bed. Oh, bookcase. Paper. Rat. Oh, somebody in the bathroom. Oh, gosh, she's going, too. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you on the john, but you gotta, you gotta go. You gotta go. My house now. I'm moving in. There we go. Nice twist. Six out of ten. Oh my gosh, this guy's tough. He's got that skull head. Oh, I lost an arm. Okay. Oh, lost two arms. What you gonna do now? Bleed on me? Bite my legs off? Alright, what did he leave behind? Oh, I'll take the <laughs> Arizona lemonade. Check the medicine cabinets. Nothing there. And mm, green alcohol, bandages, oh boy. Alright, we're, we're filling up here. I don't have much space left. I think I'm going to head back now. And we'll make up this forge. I think we have everything we need. Ooh, might stand. Green shorts. You don't need any green shorts. Alright, let's go. And we'll whip up this, uh, whip up a forge. Not sure where I'm going to put the forge yet, but we'll figure that out. Oh, we're going to need stones, too. Oh, look at that. There's a pool back there. Wow, yeah. Those people really had it nice, didn't they? Got to have a pool out here in the desert. As long as you can fill it. All right, here's a rock. I'm going to beat it down and get lots of rocks. Oh, here we go. All right, so that we're going to drop that axe. Actually, scrap it. 
And we're going to make a new one. But we're going to upgrade our tool smithing to level 2. And now, this new axe should be 100, just like our reinforced club, right? I think that's how it works. Oh, yeah. That's how it works. So I'm assuming it does more damage here, right? Are we getting more of a yield as well? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the higher quality does, but I'm sure whatever it is, it must be good, right? Otherwise, it wouldn't be worth it. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Gonna head back to the bunker now. And we will make this, uh, this forge. Alright guys, we're back in the bunker. And Paulina is uh, all organized and ready to make this forge. And I just wanted to point out that we have a new black cow girl hat on her head. The other one was actually a fiber cowgirl hat. This one's made of cloth, so it's much more comfortable and stylish. So, yeah, very, very cool. Um, and I also made up a new wooden bow. So there you go. That was awesome. And now it is time to make the forge. Actually, we're going to make the bellows first, right? Bellows! We need... Uh, oh, we need a short iron pipe. All right, let's go grab the short iron pipe. Got plenty of iron pipes right here short ones anyway and let's go ahead that's going to be 34 seconds all right we got our bellows easy peasy and now it's easy peasy yeah like that was easy uh, and now let's make our forge oh what the where did this thing come from we got a loot crate it's a fridge bottom oh just like the rich people have now we have one too <laughs> It doesn't have the top. <laughs> so what time is it? It's now... Oh, okay. It's it's nighttime. So the zombies are out and they're fast. But they shouldn't be able to find us down here. We're perfectly fine. Unless we do some foraging, which we're not going to do. For that very reason. But there it is. It's lovely, isn't it? All right. If I put this down, can I pick it back up again? I don't know. I don't know. Um, should we try? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't want to try. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if we can put stuff down and pick it back up again. So I think with that, my friends, we are going to have to call it quits, unfortunately. So have a nice day. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, a like on the video is always appreciated. And Paulina, stop. It's okay. Friends, remember? I told you, friends. <laughs>